Hi everyone, it's Jill Celeste from YourBrandingPower.com where career professionals and entrepreneurs learn to master social media to grow their personal brands so they can attract more clients, get better job offers, and make more money. Today I want to talk to you about the power of outsourcing. Now you may be thinking, gosh, outsourcing, that sounds like something only for a big business. And really nothing could be further from the truth. Whether you are a career professional or an entrepreneur, Outsourcing is a great way to help you save time. Now, outsourcing is when you assign a task to somebody else. And that could be something like hiring a freelancer to help you with web copy or hiring a landscaper to help you mow your lawn. Think of tasks that are for your home and for your business, and those are the types of things you want to outsource. So let me talk about that a little further. What should you outsource? One of the best tricks is to make a list of everything you do for your home, for your business, or your career. Everything from packing kids' lunches to getting on a weekly e-newsletter, put everything down on that list. Then go through each item and mark them A, B, C, or D. Now your A tasks are the ones you love to do and you're really, really good at them. Your B tasks are tasks that you're good at and you kind of like to do. Your C tasks are ones that you can do, but you're sort of indifferent whether you do them or not. And your D tasks, those are the terrible tasks, the tasks you hate to do and you're not very good at it. Now, what I want you to do is evaluate where everything falls, A, B, C, or D. Now, in a perfect world, anything that falls under B, C, or D are the tasks you need to outsource. You wanna maintain the ones that you marked A. Now, I know that may not be financially feasible at first, so you want to start with your D tasks. These are the ones you hate to do that take a lot of your time. Those are the tasks you want to look to outsource first. And as you get more money in your business or make more money through your career, then you can look at outsourcing those C tasks and then continue on to the B tasks. It won't be an overnight process, but as you free up more time, you're going to be so much happier and instantly energized for your personal branding efforts. Now, some of you may be like me and have or suffer from the inner control freak, you know what I mean? Like, nobody can do this like me, or uh, some people say, um, I, you know, I, by the time I trained that person, I could have just done it myself, right? And, and when you have that attitude going into an outsourcing relationship, it's really not gonna be successful because outsourcing is a two-way relationship, right? So try to dispel those attitudes before you get into an outsourcing relationship. Um, make an, uh, an operations manual or a set of um, lists or tasks that you want exactly how you want it done. Be very clear in your communications with the person that you're outsourcing to and check in frequently just to make sure that everything is going smoothly. And even if you only have $50 a month that you could spare for outsourcing, that's okay. Go ahead and spend that money. It may only get you your bathrooms clean once a month or maybe only a virtual assistant for two hours a month, but it's better than nothing because the time that you spend on those tasks can be allocated to tasks that will make you money and then you can add more outsource help to help your business or your career. So hopefully that helps you click clarity on how you can find outsourcing help for your business or your career. No one would refute that you are a hard worker, but here's the thing. You want to work smarter, not harder, because the time that you spend on tasks that you're not good at or that you hate to do are taking you away from time that you could be spending on tasks that will make you money and leave you very satisfied. So make sure to consider outsourcing in your personal branding strategy because you'll be more satisfied with your career, with your business, with your personal life, and with your personal brand. I hope these tips were helpful, and for more personal branding tips, head over to www.yourbrandingpower.com. And until next time, here's to your personal branding success, and have a great day.